Hey y'all, I'm Lockleth and this is day 11 of my ACNH 30 days challenge. But here are the rules. I have to finish the island in 30 days. It has to be a five-star island. I can't rely on treasure islands or any of my islands for help. And I have to make 1 million bells in pumpkin profits. So Isabel said at the start of the announcements about ordinances, I don't think I'm going to enact one just yet. So I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided. I don't know which one I want to get. I feel like the bell boom is going to be cheating in a way. Maybe the flowers one, the beautiful island. But there's also Capin as well now. So in a future day, I will have to go to a mystery island, maybe get some glowing moss. I think it might look really nice. So those are a few new things since we reached three stars. So if you missed it, we reached three stars yesterday in yesterday's video. And so today the main focus is going to be designing. And I think I'm going to start with my home area. So here is a very general overview of the custom codes. I actually took time before recording this day to download all of the codes that I need. I don't want to get much more than the ones I have here because I just don't want to overwhelm the island with too many codes. So I think we should be set, but I am going to do a few dailies and then get into the designing part of this video. <laughs> So I laid out all the items that I'm going to be utilizing today, but I also need to start with some pathing. I'm not too sure about this gravel road path that I have. It might be too, I don't know, town-like. We shall see. But let's get this balloon that should have bells in it. So that balloon was not what I thought it was going to be, but I'm not sure about this gravel path. I might have to change it, but I do like this dirt path and I like this little, I guess, secret passage or I guess flow right beside and behind my house that leads you up to the bridge over here because this bridge is going to always be here. So I need to just add a little walkway that leads you past my house and towards the bridge. But I also have some filler codes as well. And let's just continue this pathway over to the pumpkin patch. Flowers, weeds, filler codes, those are all going to be my friend in any of my designs. And one thing you'll see is lacking is the amount of pumpkin DIYs that I have. Now I know the theme of the island is pumpkins because, you know, Calabaza in Spanish means, I almost said French, calabaza in Spanish means gourd. So I do plan on creating a lot, a whole lot of pumpkin DIYs to just fill out the entire island. But until I finish my million bells of pumpkin profits, I'm not going to be utilizing any of the pumpkins that I grow or harvest on the island just yet. And so because I'm not using them on the island yet, I cannot use them for DIY projects at this time. I wanna reach those 1 million bells first before I start focusing on DIY pumpkins. So that gives me a little time to get some of those DIY projects as well since we are just now in early October, or we will be soon. I actually cannot remember what day it is in the actual game, but I need to work on that in the future. It's just, uh, it's a future thing problem, not a, not a current problem. And until I reach that point, 
I am gonna focus on my designs being more fall related. And then later on, we will edit the builds to involve more pumpkins, if that makes sense. So it'll be a sprinkling or a very thorough sprinkling of pumpkins later on with the builds that we do here on the island. We're gonna be doing some editing in the future. So how the state of these builds look right now, like this one today, is not gonna be the final state. There will be quite a bit of transitioning happening, but I'm gonna let y'all watch a little bit more of this and I'll come right back. Now, very quickly going into the custom codes that I'm using, I, for one, am using a lot of Crystal Cat codes. I'll add a link in the description box to the creators of the codes that I'm using today. Um, a lot of them were created by Crystal Cat, a lot of them were created by Boys Crossing, and then a sprinkling of a few others, I think. So if I remember to do it, I will add their socials in the description box below of this video. But if all else fails, I will make sure to add those codes and the creators accordingly in my card, my website that is always in the description box of my videos. So if it's not there yet and it's not, you don't see any of those codes just yet, just know that it is on the way and I'll make sure to add it in the next few videos. I'll make sure to add all of that on there. That'll probably be my my weekend project along with, you know, designing an entire island. This is our very first build on the island so far. And I'm gonna try and keep the clutter core down to a minimum. I tend to do a lot of clutter when I design islands. The beaches are gonna be very bare, very minimal and I kind of am starting to like the very minimal beach look now. So that part is not difficult for me. It's really when it comes to, you know, the small builds, I tend to just put a lot of things all in one area and I need to not do that. And since my money tree area and my fruit trees area are gonna be permanently here, especially my money trees, there will always be four money trees growing here. I wanted to add this little dirt path all the way around it so that weeds don't grow here and get in my way, you know? Because all we need is to shake our trees and then all the bells disappear because they've hit a little patch of weeds underneath. We don't need that negativity in our life. <laughs> So I'm combating that with some dirt custom codes. The other thing too is I'm only going to use hardwood trees on the island. No cedar trees and for the most part no fruit trees except for the ones around my house because I want it to be obviously a fall pumpkin themed island. And so once all of the trees turn orange and it looks really pretty in October, November time, then I want more hardwood trees and more of that orange color. So, and the cedar trees don't change orange. They always stay green. So they need to go. And we're just gonna keep all the hardwood trees. Now I didn't want to block this area behind my house 
And y'all noticed that I got rid of the mushroom forest here because this wasn't going to be the permanent spot for that. That will be in a future build, probably around, I don't know, one of the villager homes maybe, the neighborhoods. We'll see when we get to that. But I definitely didn't want to cover up this natural waterscaping waterfall behind my house. Um, I just wanted to add a little bit of terraforming back here. Like I had mentioned in one of my previous videos, I can't remember which now. I am going to do terraforming and waterscaping, but it's going to be minimal. I don't want to change too much of how the island looks or what the map looks like. I'll just edit the rivers and add ponds here and there where I see fit. But for the majority of the cliffs and how the river looks right now, I think it's gonna basically just stay the same. Because I want to, well for one, I don't have a lot of time to do a full landscaping, waterscaping project like I do on all my islands. And then for two, I want to embrace the more natural sides of the island too. And I've never done a no terraforming island before. Maybe that'll be another future build that I do. So I think this is my little ease into that, just a smidge anyways. Now you can't have a fall slash pumpkin and I guess Halloween island without some candy on the ground. And so I'm glad to have this little candy filler code. I only have two of those filler codes that have candy, but they're a must on this island. I probably need to find like a treat bag as well to kind of add to the little, you know, Halloween-esque of things. But like I mentioned earlier, I wanted to add dirt around my fruit trees. And so all of my fruit trees here have dirt all around it so that no, you know, weeds spawn or anything else spawns to suck up the fruit. And thank you, Pashmina, for teaching me how to laugh another good reaction from a very cute villager. Now I know I said minimal designing on the beaches and it's minimal, very minimal. I only, there's only like four items in that. And I knew it, I wasn't gonna like this gravel pathway. So I'm gonna change it to this tile. And this is actually like, I think a swimming pool tile, like an abandoned pool. But I like the kind of green mossiness in between the cracks and how broken up it is. So. It looks a lot better and nicer. It, it adds a little bit of light to the ground as well, but I'm just gonna do a quick little walk through of some of the areas that we worked on. Not a whole lot was done today. A lot of custom codes and just filler things, but I'm trying to keep it light. I'm trying to keep things light here. There's not a whole lot of items. I'm keeping it minimal. You know, you can't go wrong with like a little picnic spot behind the house leading up to the bridge you know very minimal things and i think i'm going to try and embrace that throughout the entire island so but we'll see we'll see but let's collect our pumpkins and do a harvest today gotta get those pumpkin profits and another 100,800 bells and here is our total. And that is gonna be it for the first build on the island. I like to usually start with my entrance or my home when I'm designing on a new island. But like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you've been enjoying this series and are looking forward to more speed builds on the island. 
and thank you all so much for watching.